The overall aim of the Oxford Bibliography online project is to give people the tools they need to sort of wrestle down the enormous avalanche of information, particularly bibliographical information, that's available on the web today. This is the opening page that you see before you here. It has the names of each of the bibliographies that are already available. And there are two ways to access a bibliography. I've checked classics here, because that's the one we're going to be looking at. It's possible to either browse it, in which case you'll see the whole structure of the bibliography, or to search through it for a particular phrase or, or word. But let's hit the Browse button here. And as you can see, there's a list of the individual entries. There's Aeschylus, Apollonius of Rhodes, Arena Spectacles, which is a really marvelous entry. I mean, they're all marvelous. This entry is all about Greek literature during the Hellenistic period, which begins with the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC and ends roughly with the uh, Battle of Actium when the Romans took over the Greek world in 31 BCE. And, and you can see here on the left the table of contents for the entry, which starts with an introduction in which I, um, I give a very, very brief historical survey and some more information on the historical and cultural background. This is all very brief. There is another entry which is just about Hellenistic history, which does all of this in much greater detail. Let's look at Epic. One of the most important uh, authors of Epic during this period is Apollonius of Rhodes who wrote a poem called the Argonautica, which is the story of Jason's search for the Golden Fleece. And so here we have an introduction in which I've chosen some of the uh, most important editions of the Argonautica and commentaries. So here, for example, is uh, Richard Hunter's book uh, written in 1993 called the Argonautica of Apollonius Literary Studies. Well, should a person look at this or should a person not? Um, and what I say is that these are essays on heroism, love, the gods, literary qualities, the Ptolemaic context, and Apollonius's influence on Virgil. So a person would know if they're interested in any of those topics, and if not, they can just pass it by. If you search for Homer on the web, today on Google, there are, you'll find 44 million hits. Now, a lot of them have nothing to do with the author of the Iliad and the Odyssey, but they are things like quotes from Homer Simpson or baseball statistics, all kinds of other Homers, and also information on the author of the Iliad and the Odyssey of all kinds of value and description. And what is a student to do? What's a professor to do when they want more information on that subject? How do they know who to trust? How do they know where to find the information? How do they know what the value of the bibliographical information is that they find on Google? The concept of the Oxford Bibliography Online is to use expert advice to recruit um, leading professors primarily um, in, in every field in which they publish, actually, which is everything, uh, to give advice, to create bibliographies that are annotated, that are structured, and that are selective, and that will let people know which are the most important texts, which are the most important commentaries, how, where they should go first.